In this part, we'll talk about accessory excretory organs in humans. We have seen the functioning of the main excretory organ that is kidney and the complete excretory system. Now we would take up all those organs which are helping in excretion. Excretion is not their main function. Their main function is something else. But because as they help in removal of certain waste from the body, they are considered as accessory or helping excretory organs. The first one in this list is liver. Liver performs many important functions. Uh, Associated with metabolic carbohydrate, protein, fat metabolism, production of many important uh, enzymes or many, many functions. But it helps in removal of certain substances. One, urea is produced in the mitochondria of liver cells through ornithin cycle. So liver helps in removal or production basically, not removal production of of urea and to be very precise we can also write it as conversion of toxic substance ammonia into urea so we can change this to ammonia which is highly toxic to urea through ornithin cycle And then this urea gets eliminated by the excretory system. This is one important role played by liver other than the other important roles that we just now talked of. Another important thing which is eliminated, when hemoglobin is broken down, there are pigments which are formed like bilirubin, biliverdin, even urochrome. So it also helps in production of bilirubin, Biliverdin, both these are bile pigments. So when hemoglobin is broken down, these are two which are eliminated. There is one more part, hemocytidin, which is retained because it contains the iron part and urochrome. And these things, they come by or from breakdown of hemoglobin. So liver after RBCs are broken down, the hemoglobin is broken down, these three things are removed and the conversion is done by uh, liver. Third, there are certain drugs, cholesterol, these substances are also eliminated by liver through bile. So this is through bile. These substances are also eliminated. So all these things which are harmful, for example, ammonia converted into less harmful substance and then eliminated. Liver is the site where this conversion takes place. Hemoglobin breakdown results in formation of certain pigments. Those pigments are not required by the body. These two pigments, bilirubin and biliverdin, they are excreted out along with feces and urochrome is excreted out in urine. So this is in urine and this is in feces. And all these are produced by breakdown of hemoglobin. There are certain drugs, cholesterol, all these substances are also eliminated by liver in bile. So liver plays an important role as accessory excretory organ. The next structure which helps is skin. Again, the main function of skin is protection, but it also helps in cooling or keeping our body temperature normal. We sweat through uh, the skin glands. So there are two main types of glands in our skin which help in elimination of certain substances. One is sweat gland. These sweat glands are known as sudoriferous glands or sweat glands.
Sweat glands are simple coiled tubular glands. Simple coiled tubular glands. And the secretion is known as sweat. The normal function of sweat or normal reason for sweat production is to keep the body cooler. Because when the sweat evaporates, it takes the temperature or heat from our body and that's how it cools the body. So it is basically required for thermoregulation. But composition of sweat, if we talk of, it contains water and salt. Salt is normally sodium chloride. This is normal composition. But along with it, there is urea also and under certain excessive uh, physical activities like exercise, there is lactic acid also. So lactic acid would be present only in exercise condition and that too rigorous exercises. So urea which is the main nitrogenous waste in our body which is mainly eliminated through the excretory system some urea is also eliminated by sweat and that is why here these glands of skin are helping or acting as accessory excretory organs. Our skin also has other type of glands which are known as sweat, sorry, oil glands or sebaceous glands. Sebaceous glands, commonly known as oil glands. They are distributed all over our skin and mainly at the bottom or near the hair follicle. The secretion produced by them, okay, before that, these are simple branched saccular glands. And the secretion is known as sebum. So these are the terms given to the secretion of these two glands. Sebum contains lipids fatty acid that is all fatty substances are there in this plus sterols waxes again lipid wax is a type of lipid so these are the substances which are eliminated by sebaceous gland so skin is also helping in removal of certain waste material from our body third lungs so the structure which is again helping in removal of waste lungs and as these are accessory organs elimination of waste is not their main function lungs are responsible for breathing inhalation exhalation and gaseous exchange but during exhalation the carbon dioxide which is produced in the respiratory process or reaction is removed. So it helps in removal of carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide which is the waste for our body is removed by lungs. So these are the main accessory excretory organs and as we said in the beginning the excretory function is not their main function. They are performing some other functions but because during that main function, certain substances are eliminated of, from our body and that's why these organs are known as accessory excretory organs.